hour, Rob. Let's go to baseball. And Blake Snell, Cy Young Award winning pitcher for the San Diego Padres, Rob had a no hitter going against Colorado. Uh, seven innings pitched through 104 pitches and w- pulled himself out of the game. What did he say, Rob G, to the, uh, to the manager? Yeah, he told manager Bob Melvin, this is what Melvin told the media, he said Snell was being pretty realistic. He said to me, quote, it's going to be tough for me to finish nine. He was over 100 pitches, seven innings, pretty good inning. It wasn't that, though. So they, you know, he said he knew he didn't have it, so take me out. Had 10 Ks and had four walks, so it was yes, nowhere sir. near a perfect game, but, um, you know, it was looking great. Rob, what are your thoughts on this, Rob? Outrageous. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry. I t- Chris, stop. And they, they protect the managers and the analytics people by saying it. Uh, Clayton Kershaw said the same thing, a perfect game. Oh, you don't game. think Snell pulled himself? No. Really? I don't. I think that that's just a part of what they wanted. And he went along with it because that's where we are in baseball. Why would you – 100 pitches? You can't finish a game? I mean, Chris, wow. go out there. You give up a, war, a hit or a hit or two walks. Okay, you don't have it anymore. Why wouldn't you want to compete? You might, get, you might get out of the inning on four pitches, right? Three swings on four pitches and, you got, and you're in the ninth inning. You don't know. If you labor through the eighth inning and you throw 18 pitches, Chris, okay. I got it. You're out of gas. But to not even go out and try, I'm, I'm just not buying it. Everybody, they, Every time they're always making excuses for, uh, oh, yeah, I don't have it. Clayton Kershaw threw 80 pitches, Chris, no stress pitches, had a perfect game going, and, oh, yeah, I, I don't have it. I'm done. R- really? Like, and oh, did we, we don't want to leave him out there, Chris. You know, he might get hurt. He might, we want to save him for down the road. That? I yes. thought Kershaw was like, hey, you know, I thought he was kind of like, it would have been nice, you know, you got something nah, going. He gave, but he I gave the Dodgers like, a pass. He but did, did he, but did he say he was the, did he, he didn't say he pulled himself. No, he just said that, yeah, they're probably right. I, I don't, I didn't know. Right, have okay, that but that's like different. That. Snell. But, Said he pulled, or at least Melvin, right? The the manager. Did Snell say anything, Raji? I have his quotes. We don't have the sound, unfortunately, but here's what he told the media after the game last night. He said, I just knew it was going to be a lot of pitches. I'm a guy that understands my body really well and understands the risk reward of injury with pushing it. With how hard I was throwing today, it was not worth it. I understand no hitter is an amazing accomplishment. It's so hard to do. I understand that. I also understand how much I value health. It's an individual accolade. It's cool for the team. We had a no-hitter. It's not either or. It's bullpen comes in and you can trust them. It's not either or. I think he did it, Rob. I I think he pulled himself. It's BS. And I agree with you, but. So you don't believe, you think he's lying. It's BS. It's not, because it's not either or. No, uh, I get that, but do you? In health. Pitching a no hitter doesn't mean that that you that you're going to be hurt or not pitching a no hitter. He could go out the next start and get hurt. I just don't understand the the rationale behind it. If you go out there in the eighth inning, Chris, and you struggle, take the guy out. If he walks a guy to lead off the eighth inning, if he gives up a hit, whatever it is, if it takes nine pitches to get through the first batter, come out. I got you. If he had 140 pitches, I'm with you. That's too much, 140. This isn't the Nolan Ryan days where he threw 230 in a game, Chris. We'll never see that. Rob, I... I I agree with you about what you just said as far as, you know, it, we've, we've talked about it before. I mean, we've Jacob DeGrom's hardly throwing it all, and he can't stay healthy. Right. You know, I mean, so we talked about Kershaw. After he came out a few months, was it even a few months uh, later, was, yeah. he got hurt. You know, so I agree with you on that. I am taking him. I don't know if either one of us knows. I'm just going to take Snell at his word. I mean, he could have easily said, hey, you know, I just I knew I didn't have any more left, but he went he went the extra mile and really went into detail about knowing his body, thinking he wasn't ready to, you know, go more, go longer and all that. So I'm going to assume that he's telling the truth. And here's what I would say, Rob. I think that the players coming up today, and I'm generalizing, but a lot of them They don't think they can go complete games anymore. 
They've been brainwashed by the analytics people. And you talk about soft. You talk about a, the whippification of a sport. Rob, guess how many complete games Blake Snell has thrown in his career? Uh, eight. How about zero? <laughs> zero. So he probably really believes there's no way I'm going nine. I bet it doesn't even cross his mind to go nine innings, even if you got a no-hitter going. Uh, and this uh, is horrible, Rob. They are convincing some of these players that you can't throw a complete game anymore. It's terrible. Because people want stars. People want moments. This would have been a moment. We know the, And the Padres aren't even going anywhere. I'm not saying you just you know, throw caution to the wind and say, if you get hurt, you get hurt. But you're not saving him for the playoffs. Well, the other thing too, if, it, if you're the Padres and you're not going anywhere, and if it really doesn't matter, then why is he pitching at all, Chris? Why, why is he even out there? If you're going to go to let him pitch seven innings to say, well, well, we don't want him to pitch the eighth and the ninth. Don't pitch at all. If you're worried about health, you're out of the playoff race. Right. Why are you even pitching? Right, right. I mean, I, it, I, I just think it's terrible. And um, this is, I mean, it's almost like the equivalent of low management in the NBA. And, I mean, guys think to play 40 minutes, you got to be Superman in the NBA. And now we've got pitchers who, even with the chance to do something historic, to do something memorable, to do something you will never forget, to do something you'll get accolades and praise for, to give the fans a moment. What are the San Diego fans looking to see now? They certainly, they, 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 you're not getting to the playoffs. They want moments. They're not giving up on the season after you fall out of the playoff race. So give them a moment. And the fact that, he didn't have the competitive drive. And again, I just blame it on these guys being brainwashed now into thinking they can only throw so many pitches. Right, and the whole notion that the third and fourth time around, you don't have this good stuff and they hit you. It's okay. That doesn't mean you can't get through a game, Chris. Thank I, you. I, I, saw, I watched Tom Seaver when he pitched for the Mets. Chris, strike out the, he struck out 19 batters in the game, and guess what? He struck out the last 10 San Diego Padres to end the game. The last 10. Whatever I mean, happened that, to that? that? that yeah, no. Nah, look, and, and Rob, it is just, it, it's just terrible. I mean, look, we, in, in 10 years, Rob, and maybe I'm giving it a long time. because I'm just saying this. I hope it never happens, and I would lean toward it never happening. But. If analytics continues the way it is, Rob, you know how they have openers, right? A guy to throw one inning. Right. Just to, and then, they don't even call him a starter, just an opener. Right. Like, I, I mean, I would imagine, Rob, that the analytics would tell you if you throw five or six pitchers in a game and each one of them is at their absolute best because they're not tired, and the opposing lineup has not seen them, right? It's the first time they're seeing each pitcher. I would, I bet the analytics would say, you got a better chance of winning. Only problem, and that's what they believe, Chris. And you know what? It doesn't work. Because if it really worked, they would be doing it. Do you know I, what I mean? I don't know. Does it not work? I mean, we've seen it here and there. But I don't, I, I don't know that it doesn't work. I, no. But here's my thing. I don't care if it works. That eliminates stars. How are you going to have a star pitcher when they, they only pitch two or three innings at the most whenever they go out there? We don't have no bullpen middle relievers are stars. That, that's my main. Look, the, the, Rob, the, um, the, the, the switch with the infield, that, that was helping you win, right? Right. But it's not good for the game. Right. And this is not good for the game. No, it wouldn't fans. be good for the game. It, 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 to cheat fans from moments, as you talked about, going, Chris, 
I've been covering baseball, Major League Baseball, since 1986. I've seen one or two no I saw a perfect game with David Wells. I might have seen one or two. I can't even remember. That might be the only one. How often do you think you go to a ballpark and see a, a, a no-hit or a perfect game? It doesn't happen. I right. go to the ballpark all the time for the last 37 years. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen right. every other day. You're right. I mean, it, it just, like I said, that's the logical conclusion of these analytics is you start throwing a pitcher one or two innings. And like I said, just like the shift didn't good, wasn't good for baseball, even though it could help you win, that would not be good for baseball. We Rob, it, it's like the Oakland A's when they were at the height of the Billy, you know, Billy Bean era, right? They were winning regular season games, but really no stars. Were fans interested? Right. I mean, we want person Shohei. Shohei's team wasn't winning. But we want to see him because he's a star. Right. He's doing something that we've never seen. And to, to be little or act like a no-hitter means nothing in baseball right. is a crime from these analytic people. It, 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 it really is. To poo-poo it and to, to shortchange it and make it like yep. it's no big deal. Ah, just come on out. Who cares? We don't care if you got a no-hitter going. Just sit down. Let's put in Joe Blow, who nobody knows <laughs> or cares about, and let him get the three outs, and then some other guy comes in and gives up a bloop single, and then we go home and we won the game. Really? I'm, that's I'm that's what you. we want? That's what I'm we want. I'm with you. That's, that's, 